How's it going boys and girls, I'm MKO Nambro here, welcome back to Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Where we left off, we just finished the first part of Canada, episode 6. Um, we're gonna continue with episode 7. And take down Jean Basson. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the Northern Lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Besson and his mysterious partner Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Besson's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the town slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan can clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go, both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Mm. It's like Cooper and the gang in Menace from the North, eh? Okay, so here's what we know. One, Arpeggio's blip is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson. And two, the only way we'll get a crack at Arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp. But before yeah. we do that, we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Besson. Time is short and we've got a lot to accomplish. True, true, but first things first. This lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Oh, look, blue bottle. It's good to see if my cane upgrade performs so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. Didn't take long for me to do uh episode six, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do as many as I can today and uh upload the rest of it all tomorrow. Or at one at a time. I just wanna get everything recorded and done. My goal is to finish recording slide two by the time by the time Sly of Sly 4 is released since I'm not going to be able to go through all the Sly Cooper games before it comes out as promised, but uh, it's all because I got caught up in school and there was work that I had to do for it, so, so uh, I blame myself for not being able to finish everything. you though. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll just get this blue bottle. And then do what I need to do. Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. <laughs> Maybe this was Jean Vassan's old camp. That was weird. That I couldn't basically grab onto that guy till now. But until then, that was, that was bizarre. But uh, anyway, let's just get going. I'm gonna try to get, like last video, as many videos as I can before the bottle hunt, so that way it would be another short video, but uh... Houses. I got scared the crap out of once. 
while I was running by an outhouse earlier. Well, last time I played. So I'm just walking by, minding my own business, all of a sudden an enemy bursts out of the outhouse. So I jumped, and then I was like, I didn't know it was occupied. My mistake. I think I'm gonna go over and see if there's any other blue bottles. That way I can just clear the lighthouse section out. Thought I saw a clue bottle. Did the game lie to me? Oh. I was gonna say, don't lie to me, game. I don't like being lied with. Clear the lighthouse out of bottles because there's some, I think, near the top. Oh shit! At least I think that there is. I don't know. I have a lot of time to spare. I just want to get most of this done so that I won't have to deal with the glit uh, when last time I played because last time I played I glitched this game like uh, I went to get the safe and uh, if you go to a certain point uh, the game the game will reset reset you back to the point to where you had to actually go in for that mission so I was pissed that I had to go through it all again but Alright, so there was one up here. Alright, good, good job. On my part. Ah ha ha ha! That's what you get. For effing with Sly Cooper. Charger, but where's the battery arpeggio's coming to pick up? Yes. Looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Might as well get a shot of old Jean Bisson. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's 
mumbling to himself. Come on, John. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. All right, back there. I'm gonna end this episode after the cutscene. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. When the Clockwork Talons has a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his lumberjack games. Fortunately, fortunately due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So, working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. All right, guys. I'm ending it here. Uh, I like this game. I hope you guys too. I'm going to do a bottle hunt. So, um, see you when I do the bottle hunt.